Hey guys, and welcome back to LEGO Logical. It's Josh, and welcome to this episode of Brick Bam. And this is actually invented by my good friend and a really nice fella called The Action Brick. If you haven't checked out my featured list of channels uh, on the right side of this LEGO Logical channel, you will see that there's this very talented guy who does amazing creations, mocks, including Clash of Clans, Jurassic World, Hunger Games especially, and he is such a nice guy. He is main main reason why I'm doing this, by the way. Um, Brick Bam is where he takes a regular Lego set, which in this case I have the Imperial Troop Transport Battle Pack, and um, he just creates three different vehicles using the exact same pieces and turns an ordinary set to a wonderful masterpiece, and I really like all the builds that he has done on his Dilophilosaurus. Um, ambush Jurassic World set. His channel will be in the description, and he was so kind to let me uh, make one of this, uh, one of these episodes for him. And so I'm gonna share with you guys the Imperial Troop Transport alternative builds. So let me take apart this set, and I'll show you what what's in store. Now, before I get on into building my first alternative build, I just want to give you a brief look at other pieces we get. I really consider this Imperial Troop Transport as one of the best battle packs that LEGO has ever made because the amount of pieces is just fabulous and four stormtroopers, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> Imperial Mayhem. You also get four stud shooters to go along with it and I'm going to be making some Imperial vehicles and some Imperial mocks out of this. This is a great set to, to do an alternative build on considering it's a small battle pack with a decent amount of pieces. So let's head on and I'll show you my first alternative build. Guys, here is your first alternate build, and this is the Imperial Armed Transport. Basically, a military vehicle with four wing flaps at the back, uh, dual guns on both sides here, engines, a stud turret that rotates 360 degrees with dual stud cannon, bam, a pilot and a co-pilot. It's kind of elevated, I used those round pieces at the bottom there to give that the elevated feel. and two turrets in front. Those don't actually shoot, but it's there for the aesthetics. And why is this back section so big, you may ask? Well, you pull this out and you got yourselves your stud shooters. So basically it carries weapons and stuff for the other troops on the, on the battlefield. Um, another scout speeder kind of thing, just to zip around like on the battlefield, you know, with the two little engines at the back looking pretty nice and uh, well I didn't use all the pieces for the alternate build I'm not gonna use all of the pieces just gonna make good use of what I have and not use any more I guess that's the aim there so you just put the stud shooters back in there there we go works nicely and there there is your Imperial armed transport now let's take a look at the second one this is the Imperial outpost and this is the second alternate build we have three items here, kind of like a brick wall here to uh, defend the stormtroopers, kind of like um, some cover for line of fire. We have a satellite tower to relay signals to the fleet and to, um, it spins by the way, it, it, it's to send transmissions and communicate with the fellow stormtroopers. Basically, this is an outpost, so they have everything. So this is the basically communications tower at the back, and we have this thing here, which is kind of like a heavy ammo storage. So as you can see, we have our stud shooters at the back. So that's where the stormtroopers get their weapons for the uh, for the brick wall there, and we have flick missiles up top. They just killed their own stormtroopers. And a cargo crate, which we can put some stud shooter ammo inside. So it's empty cargo crate. Put stuff in there. Equipment for the stormtroopers. And a defense cannon. Basically, all you need to survive a day in the battlefield against the rebellion. Four stormtroopers. Four stormtroopers. <laughs> four stormtroopers. A communications tower. And a brick wall, basically. I guess that's it for the second build. So, um, yeah, get a good, nice, long look. Now let's head on into our final alternate build. Last but definitely not the least, we have the Imperial Proton Cannon. Now this is a really powerful uh, cannon, big, big gun, and it's on this nice stand here. 
There's some empty space there, so you can put your um, spare blasters or something. Just a little compartment there. But um, other than that, it's a huge cannon, basically. You see, I used this technique here to make the cannon mount, so it just goes bam. And then you got your flick fire missiles there. That shot out really well, actually. And we have our stormtrooper there, which is on the no studs design. You just slot him in there. There's a crate there for extra ammo or for, for some storage, but then, all in all, a cannon, a really, really heavy, heavy and mean looking, it looks like it can take down rebel scum, the uh, snow speeders, it can just go like, you know, sound effects don't do that much to really help it, but it's an alternate build from the uh, Imperial Troop Transport, so I guess that wraps it up for all three of the, um, alternate builds for the Imperial Troop Transport Battle Pack. We have our stormtroopers here. And um, let me get, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And um, you should definitely go check out the Action Brick. Why does this guy keep flying? Whatever. You should definitely check out the Action Brick. He is an amazing builder and really talented guy. He's also so nice.